it is time for me to show you this cute little police dog. What we're going to use for this is one 260 and three little 5 inch linking balloons. One's blush, one's white, one's blue. And then we're going to use adding markers, a yellow one and a brown one to decorate the face. I'll show you how to do that. And a black Sharpie for the eyes. You also can do white here and uh, pink for the little tongue if you want to. And what we're going to do is start with the 260. You can use a 160. It might be easier for you just to get started or if you'd prefer not trying to fit everything in the 260, just try it with a 160. Um, but a lot of people have these on stock, so I'm going to show you. Uh, you want to stretch it before you inflate it to get it to go as long as possible. And what you want to do is think tiny for this one and think mushy. You want your balloon nice and mushy. And we're going to have an eight finger tail. So you want to about have about six inches uninflated on this one. And what we're going to do is start with a micro bubble or a half inch size little ear twist bubble. It's going to be about the size of a jelly bean whenever it's twisted. You put your fingers right here and bend this knot or pull it, pull it right down into the crack as you turn the jelly bean with your dominant hand. And to tie these little ones, just wrap it around your finger, take the very end of the balloon, wrap that around the crease and with your thumb, see how I have it there? Tuck it under and pull it just like that. Now we're going to make two one inch bubbles and the second one's going to get pinch twisted. So there's the first one. Here's the second one. And then it becomes the right size here. And the second one gets pinch twisted. Um, pull this bubble up, pull it away from itself and turn it together. And then we're going to make the side of the face and think small. That one's going to be a teeny bit more than an inch, about an inch and a quarter. So about two fingers, or maybe a little teeny bit bigger than two fingers. Then we're going to make uh, small ears about an inch in size. Fold it down, turn this together, and to keep the ears from coming apart while you're twisting, flip them around and turn them. This um, top of the head bubble right here is going to be three fingers. So we're going to turn that like this. That's about an inch and a half. And then make two one inch bubbles for the other ear. They're about two fingers wide. And flip it and turn it. Flip it and turn it. And then we're going to do the other side of the dog's head. And that's going to be a two finger bubble, which is the same size as this one. It's about a little bit bigger than an inch. And then put another one inch bubble here for the dog's other cheek. Pull that apart um, up and pinch twist it. And then we're going to go across the bottom underneath right here at the bottom of his little chin. It's going to be same size as one of these, which is a little smaller than that. That's about an inch, a little bit bigger than an inch. And we're going to wrap it right in the crack of this second pinch twist. So wrap it like that. And this is going to go right back over to this one. Make the same size bubble, about a little bit bigger than an inch, an inch and a quarter. Wrap that around. So that's three inches. There are three fingers, two fingers, two fingers, two fingers. Uh, a little bit bigger than one finger, just to show you. And then this is another one inch little round bubble. And then you just take this in the back, wrap it around, turn it, just like that. So you should have something that looks like this. It looks a little like a Mickey Mouse head. And what we're going to do now is make it so that this dog's sitting down, but you don't have to have your dog sitting down. Maybe you're running out of room or maybe you don't want him sitting down. He can be standing up. 
dogs stand up too, so it's not a big deal. It's whatever you like to do, and whatever you prefer, and whatever is easier for you. So to make the dog's front feet, to go down three fingers, then go back up three fingers on this side. It looks a little confusing, but if you just practice it a couple times, you'll get the hang of it. And then for the body, we want to do three fingers. Say it's like a little tight like this. You can go, you can wait to do these three fingers. Go down to where you want the bottom of the back feet and twist that first. Then you, um, then the balloon will fill out here and here and you'll have room if it's a little tight. I'm going to go up towards the end of the tail. I'm going to squeeze that up a little bit because I want to tuck his front feet into the back feet. So you just have to have a big enough loop for these front feet to tuck in. So I'm going to hold it right here because this is what I have left. And I'm going to try to squeeze that air up towards the end of the tail to make this a little looser. And then I'm going to carefully tuck these in. So you can even go smaller on things. You can even make everything just a little bit smaller so that you have room. But I'm just trying to make like a line work uh, police dog if people ask you for one. So you don't have to spend an hour making one police dog for one child. Now what we're going to do is take our linking balloons, white, blue, and blush. And you're going to blow up the white one so it's about two inches and then the blue one's just a little bigger than the white one that's about two and a half inches and then the blush one is about three inches so two inches two and a half three inches okay and then we're gonna take the blush and the white one and we're gonna tie two of these ends together kind of tight like that and then we're going to tie it again so it doesn't come undone and you're going to tie these other ends pull them together tight flip one under pull it and tie it right like that a second time so you have this and then take your little dog body and if, if you're sitting back like this or up like this, you want to position this you know, upright like this. Oh, my little legs came out. So, he's sitting up like this. And we're going to tie one side of this on right here. To the cheek. You're not, we're not really going to tie it, we're just kind of kind of pull it in, stretch it, stretch it around, and tuck this in the back of the head. You don't have to worry about cutting anything off or knotting anything. Take it over to the other side and pull this into this crack. Just pull it around and tuck it right into the back, right like that. And then you can fix these little cheek bubbles so they're to the side. And we're going to take his little hat and we're going to put that on. And we're just going to do the same thing. Wrap it around. Tuck it in the back. Right in the crease so you can't see it. Same thing. Wrap this around. Tuck it in the back so you can't see it. And with this one, you can push his little eyes in a little bit if you want to. With this one, all the um, balloon cuteness is in the artwork. So if you can practice on your eyes and stuff, you can get your balloons to look just like the little characters. Let me get this to sit up. So what we're going to do, how we make this cute face, I made his nose a little bit bigger on this one. It doesn't matter what you're going to do. This one is also about two or three days old, just let you know, so it may have shrunk a little. But what we're going to do to draw on his face, we're going to uh, start, I'll start with this, um, see the eyes, 
We want them as close to this tan part as we can. So we're going to draw a little line right like that and a little line right like that just like a, a football player would have uh, that little black zinc under their eyes same thing you want this as close to that as can be when you leave go of it and then we're going to draw a big arch right up there and another big arch so we have two big arches right like that now what we're going to do is we're going to draw black ovals you can leave i like to leave a little white dot in the center for where the eye shine is um little ovals right here kind of floating just above that black part you can just leave a little circle and go around it so it's like a floating oval And then we're going to give him little eyebrows up here. And those are like a little smaller on this side, a little bigger on this side. And then what we're going to do is draw, I'm going to wait to draw the nose so I don't get black all over my hand. Then what we're going to do is take a brown edding marker. We're going to draw like a funnel down here. So it's going to start here going to start here and it's going to go the whole way down the center. So I don't know how detailed you want to get with this, but sometimes just the artwork alone can really make the balloon. Even if the balloon isn't real uh, elaborate. So here is this that on and then we're going to do the brown around the eyes so you want to circle around that oval and touch down on the bottom of the black go do the same thing on this side fill that out looks like i need to uh, recharge my edding marker i don't have anything to do that on darn it Let's see, hold on a second. If I need some more paint, so you have to smash the tip down to get the paint out. And then what we're gonna do is draw a mouth. And this uh, goes down a little bit and over like this, just like a little canoe. And it has two little curves right here. And you're gonna have like a little the thing that's under your nose, this little line that goes down and some freckles. I probably should have drawn the nose on first, but he gets some little freckles right like that. And then you can draw a mouth down here if you want to, but you don't have to. Like this, this would be the tongue and then this pink and this would be, you could use a pink Sharpie or a pink edding marker. Um, you could even use a brown Sharpie and then this would be white under here. For his little teeth and then i'm gonna draw on his nose which is like a big kind of curved maybe short piece of pizza right like this and fill that in and then i'm gonna darken up his eyes a little so i'm going back over this just to fill that in make his eyes kind of, I don't want to say pop because that's probably not a good word to use when you're twisting balloons, but to make his eyes stand out. So here are his eyes and his face, or his mouth, and now we're going to do this part up here. This one just has a bigger face. Still looks cute. I mean, you can make the mouth smaller if you want. It doesn't matter. It's really your preference. So we're gonna make um, a piece of pizza up here. Kinda like a pizza shape out of a yellow edding marker. And we're gonna draw three dots, one, two, three, and then a little upside down pizza shape right there. And then you put the yellow part on that's kinda like shows the brim of the hat where that will start. It'll give the illusion of a hat brim. And you 
can thicken that up. You don't have to spend this much time drawing on your balloon, but I'm just trying to show you. And there is your little police dog. And there is my older one. Ta-da!